Plenia ariana, the white or the green jabuticaba. This is a really delicious fruit. This tree, uh, dating back to 2016, uh, is now starting to come into pretty good bearing. These are uh, milder, less acetic. They seem sweeter than the uh, regular black jabuticabas with plenty of pithrantha. So, <laughs> white or green jabuticaba, uh, plenty of ariana. Uh, the fruit is less acetic than the uh, black jabuticabas. The skin it's not nearly as tannic. Still has a seed in the middle, it has to be spit out. But the um, skin is actually mild enough a person could eat it. Um, not too far off from a grape skin. The fruit itself, I think, would probably make a pretty decent white wine. I suspect there's enough sugar in there. Maybe. I've never tested the bricks. <coughs> but quite pleasant. I generally can't eat the skins on the black jabuticabas. I find them too tannic. The only problem <laughs> I've had with this tree, uh, it, it tends to start bearing pretty young. So my only problem is birds. Birds like them. right there. That's the birds, that little brown speck. They couldn't get it out of the tree, but they tried. Well, and then of course, well, it's a very refreshing, nice fruit. There's less pulp than in the uh, black jabuticaba types usually and so and this one would probably juice out better if you were just to press it like you would wine grapes um, I put the black ones through uh, centrifugal juicers before and it's kind of a mess the skins and the pulp and everything kind of block the things up and you got to get in and keep cleaning them out I have a few uh, small trees out in the nursery of this type and otherwise, I will have uh, some seed for a brief period of time here. If anybody wants this, uh, aloha, y'all hang loose and 